To understand integration, we're going to look at differentiation first and then work backwards from it, because that's what we're trying to do, integration being anti-differentiation, or the reverse of it. So if I take my function y equals 5x cubed, dy dx will give me, <coughs> well don't forget we multiply by 3 to give 15, and then reduce the power by 1, give 15x squared. So let's think about that in terms of a number machine. Well, our first process was to multiply by the power and then we <coughs> subtracted 1 from the power. That's our basic difference. So if we were to work backwards to our starting point we would add 1 to the power and because we're going completely backwards we can divide by the new power and in essence that's what integration is so if we were to work backwards from our dy dx and we're going to use the proper integral sign 15x squared dx I'm going to put my answer up here first of all add 1 to the power which would give me x to the power 3 and then divide by the new power well don't forget we've still got the 15 here divide by the new power of 3 15 divided by 3 is 5 and we've got 5x cubed. We're going to talk about why that isn't strictly correct in the next couple of videos. So we'll use this technique to integrate. So if dy dx was 5x to the power 4, let's work backwards. So first of all, we're going to add 1 to the power. That's x to the 5. So we've got 5x to the 5. Divide by the new power, which is now 5. We should have just x to the power 5. So here's your questions to get your teeth into. First of all, dy dx equals x cubed then dy dx equals 12x to the 7 dy dx equals 3x to the minus 5 so if you write those down and if I can get them all on the screen press pause and try to work them out ok so did you get them right so working backwards what you know at the moment add 1 to the power so that's x to the power 4 and then divide by the new power. Now this one cancels down because 85 by 4 is 2. 2x to the power of 4. Second one. So we've got 12x raised to the power by 1. Divide by the new power. Again we've got some cancelling because 4 goes into both of these. So that's 3 over 2x to the power 8. And the next one, working backwards, add 1 to the power, so that's 3x to the minus 4, and then divide by the negative 4, which I might tidy up a little bit, to minus 3 quarters x to the negative 4. Again, I might tidy a little bit further, minus 3, 4x to the 4. <coughs> 